the maximum ordinal 1d radius natural number is infinity. The maximum cardinal natural number is aleph sub null transfinite. Natural numbers include both all whole numbers, including zero, and counting numbers, excluding zero, because these have a one-to-one -one ratio to one another. The number set, zero, one, two, etc., up to infinity, equaling n sub zero, is equal to the same cardinal sum as the number sum set one, two, three, etc., up to infinity, equaling n sub one, because zero is the empty set and thus adds no measured value. The maximum 2d diameter and area integer sum is aleph sub 1 because it is both positive infinity and negative infinity and is therefore a quantitatively different sum of infinity than the natural number set, which is necessarily smaller by exactly half of positive infinity plus negative infinity. Thus, aleph null is one half the size of aleph one because positive infinity plus negative infinity cancels out to zero, the entirety of the integer set is arithmetically reducible, topologically compactable, to zero. An integer may be either even, divisible by two, or odd, and either prime, factorially indivisible, or composite, having multiple factors. The set of all positive integers is positive infinity, and that of all negative integers is negative infinity, and these combine to form the set of all integers. Likewise, the infinite set of all even integers and that of all odd integers also sum the same quantity, as do the combinations of the infinite set of all primes and that of all composites. The maximum 3D volume rational number sum is aleph sub n, where n is the largest natural number, aka aleph sub zero. Thus, another expression for aleph sub n is aleph sub aleph sub zero. Rational numbers introduce fractions or decimals making each integer infinitely divisible, linking one to infinity, and adding a y-axis to the x-axis of all integers, increasing the dimensionality of the number set. If measured by decimals, rational numbers may either terminate, come to an end after a certain sequence of digits, or repeat, repeating a finite sequence of digits ad infinitum, confer one-third or 33.3 .3 bar percent. 
thus the sum of all terminating rational numbers plus all repeating rational numbers equals the maximum rational number sum. The set of all rational numbers, therefore, has a maximum cardinal sum, aleph sub n. However, the set of all irrational numbers is uncountable and therefore presumed to comprise a larger sum than that of all rational numbers. In so far as rationals add depth to the number line by infinitely expanding every integer into fractional parts, irrationals have a maximum cardinal sum of aleph sub n plus 1 where no matter how infinite the rational number set may be, the irrational set is more so by a minimum of one additional sum. In the context of irrationals, this one sum difference between rational and irrational number sum sets may be reducible to the absolute value of one or the circle with radius 1 surrounding the origin point at 0. The maximum 4D time real number is thus a combination of both all rational and all irrational numbers. Therefore, if the maximum sum of all rational numbers is reckoned as aleph sub n and that of all irrational numbers as aleph sub n plus 1, then the maximum real number is the sum of both these expressed as aleph sub omega. This expression is shorthand notation for aleph sub n plus aleph sub n plus 1 and is synonymous with the concept of 2 aleph sub n plus 1 to beth sub 1 and or to c the cardinality of the continuum. A real number is one whose division into fractions can continue on in an infinite, unending sequence post-decimal place. Because of these reasons, the sum of all real numbers is considered uncountable as it combines multiple uncountably infinite subsets. The set of all real numbers and that of all imaginary numbers may be one to one. Thus, the 5D set of all complex numbers that includes both real and imaginary numbers can be reckoned roughly as aleph sub omega squared or as the cardinality of the continuum squared. Because the other five usual indeterminate forms are transformable under certain limiting conditions to the two indeterminate forms, zero divided by zero and infinity divided by infinity, and because infinity over infinity may be expressed as infinity times infinity, to the power of negative 1. It may be possible that the indeterminate form 0 over 0 can also be expressed as 0 times 0 to the power of negative 1. Also, assuming complex infinity may be allowed as one of the variables along with 0 1 and infinity, then there are at least 13 indeterminate forms 
including complex duals, for some of the simple indeterminate forms. Because the six simple indeterminate forms are all commutable to zero over zero under certain limiting conditions, it stands to reason the other six indeterminate forms based on complex infinity should be also. Thus, zero over zero may be the greatest common factor and lowest common denominator indeterminate. Consider this hypercross model's core indeterminate form, zero over zero, alike the ordinal maximum sum of all natural numbers, infinity. The left pair of indeterminate forms, infinity minus infinity and complex infinity minus complex infinity, alike the cardinal maximum sum for the naturals, Aleph sub zero. The right pair, zero times infinity and zero times complex infinity, like the maximum sum of the integers, Aleph sub one. The front pair, infinity over infinity, and complex infinity over complex infinity, like the max sum of the rationals, being Aleph sub n. The back pair, complex infinity divided by infinity, and infinity divided by complex infinity, like that of the max sum of all irrationals, being Aleph sub n plus 1. The pair below, infinity to the power of 0 and 0 to the zeroth, like the cardinality of the continuum of all real numbers expressed as Aleph sub Omega, and the pair above, one to the power of infinity, and one to the power of complex infinity, may be like the max sum of all complex numbers, Aleph sub Omega squared. The reason for placing the indeterminate forms in this order and relating them to the maximum sums of each number set in this sequence is due to the order of operations. The subtractive pair precedes the multiplicative, which precedes the two pair of divisions, which precede the two pair of exponential functions where also 0 is less than 1 is less than infinity.